welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new die set, Fruit Tiny Tags. We're also going to be introducing Tiny Tag Sayings Fruits, which are the perfect tiny sentiments for these adorable tags. We'll also be showing you our brand new Cheery Cherries dies, so let's go ahead and check them all out. First up, we're going to take a look at the fruit tiny tags. And with these tags, you can make four different little fruit tags that are so super cute. First up, we have this adorable little strawberry that of course has the leaves for the top and the lemon with that cute little leaf too. We also have a pineapple, which is so adorable. And then this really sweet watermelon with all of the different layers that you'll put on top to get that adorable watermelon look and also a little reinforcer tab. So let's start putting these all together. For the top three, all you need to do is add some adhesive to the back of the leaves and then just add them to the top, lining up the little hole for this string. And you'll see how quick and easy these get put together and they are the perfect little tag for a gift. I mean, they are just so adorable. We're also gonna be showing you a way to use these tags on a card front too in just a little bit. For the watermelon, you'll see on this biggest piece here, there's a little embossed line. And that's the guide as to where you're gonna add that other kind of little half circle ring there. And that's gonna give you the green part of the rind of the watermelon. Then what you'll do is you'll layer these on top of the actual watermelon tag, which also has a little embossed line. It's a bit hard to see, but there you can see it right there, that you're gonna line up this whole piece on. So you'll use white, green, and pink or red for the watermelon to get this super cute look. Now to fill in the seeds, all you need to do is flip this thing over, add some adhesive, and that's why we have that kind of like thicker ring there because it goes right over the little seeds of the watermelon and look how cute that is, oh my goodness. And then you can add this little reinforcer tag or not. And I just love how cute these tags are looking. The next thing that you can do is add some twine to them. And we have a lot of really fun lawn trimming twines in really cute colors. And this one's really great because it has some sparkle in it too. And I love lawn trimmings because they're made out of hemp, which makes it a little bit sturdier. It really holds its shape nicely. So we're just gonna feed that through the hole of the tag and then just feed the string right back through to create a perfect little tag that's ready to be tied onto your next gift bag or maybe a little pillow box. We'll be creating some of those in just a little bit. I mean, these are just so adorable. Now we'll add one to the strawberry and our cute little tags are done. But what they need is some cute little sayings. So we're gonna stamp out our tiny tag sayings fruit stamp set. We have thanks a melon, you're the zest, you are very special, you are the pineapple of my eye, I pick you, I love that one, I think it's so cute. Happy birthday, we also have thanks, and then we have these little sayings that are really great for putting on the front or the back. We have a to, a from, and also a love. This is all a part of our Tiny Tags whole group of products. So we have a lot of different Tiny Tag sayings and different Tiny Tags and different themes. And you can mix and match all of those together, which I really, really love. So now, of course, we've got to stamp them onto our tags. So we're going to stamp the You Are Berry Special onto the strawberry, which is so sweet. Then for the lemon, of course, we've got to go for the pun, right? We've got the you're the zest. <laughs> for the pineapple, we're going to stamp you're the pineapple of my eye. And then for the watermelon, we're going to, of course, stamp the thanks a melon, which is so, so very cute. Now you can either stamp on the back of the tag or you can die cut another piece to kind of layer them together. I like to do that so that they're stitching on both sides of my die cut. So already we went ahead and die cut another little pineapple there and we're gonna stamp the two and the love on there. So you could have the front, you are the pineapple of my eye and on the back you could have the two and the love. You could also just have the tag be the one that says two and love without the pun on it. So you can really mix and match these. You could of course use previous tiny tag sayings as well and those would look really, really great too. So there, we're just gonna remove the string that we had added earlier. We can just add a little bit of tape runner and these two are gonna layer over perfectly and it's gonna be this really adorable double-sided tag. And I just love how cute these turned out. And of course, we're gonna be putting them on some projects soon. But first up, we need to check out the new Cheery Cherries dies. And this is the Cheery Cherries dies. We have a fun little grouping of cherries. We have individual cherries and then leaves going in different directions and stems as well. 
Adding the stems and the leaves to the cherries is really easy. All you need to do is just tuck that stem in right into the slot that the die creates for you at the top of the cherry. We have the stems going in different directions so that you can have different looks and we have this in both the plain stems and we also have it in the dual stems too. What's nice about this is you could have a bunch of different cherries and by having the leaves go in different ways you can really make a nice beautiful balanced design. Another thing that you can do is you can actually just trim those leaves off. I always feel like I'm gardening when I do this. <laughs> so you can trim those little leaves off right there of the double stem and you could always add it to the single stem as well. You could also use them to kind of help fill your scene too. So there's a lot of different ways to be able to use the cute elements in this set. And we're gonna create a card with Cheery Cherries in just a little bit, but right now we're gonna go back to our Fruit Tiny Tags and we are gonna be making some pillow boxes. We're gonna be using some different paper collections that mix together so beautifully. We have Stripes and Sprinkles, the brand new Fruit Salad, and our previously released paper, What's Sewing On? And we're gonna combine these papers together. So we've die cut the pillow box from some of the What's Sewing On paper, and then we have a strip of this really cute lemon paper that comes from the fruit salad collection. And we're gonna layer that right onto the center of the pillow box, just like that. And this is such a pretty combination. It reminds me of kind of like lavender lemonade. Then we can go ahead and fold along the score lines that the die created for us and reinforce those score lines with the bone folder. So we'll fold there in the center, and then there's a little tab on the outside. Then the next thing we need to do is just add some quarter inch double sided tape onto that tab. You can peel up the liner paper and the pillow box is so easy to put together. You just fold it in half and press down. Then you'll see at the ends, you're gonna push one side in and then you'll push the other side in on top of that. I always like to push the one that's got the little notch in first and then the other one next so that it has a nice finished look. And how adorable is that? And of course, what do we need to add to it? We definitely need to add the cute little meadow lawn trimmings and also that lemon tag. So we're gonna run this little meadow lawn trimmings around, which has got a beautiful little sparkle and some pretty green and purple that looks really nice with this box. And we'll just tie a knot. And then we can use that extra string that's left over to add that little tiny tag to this. And I just love the look of this little lemon tag with the lemon paper. I just think it's the cutest thing. You could write a little message on the back of the tag. And this is the sweetest gift that would make someone smile. And it's going to take you about five minutes to make the whole thing because it's so quick and easy, which is really nice when you're a last minute person like I can be sometimes with gifts. The other thing I love about the pillow box die is that it is a perfect match for a gift card. So once again, a quick and easy gift that you need to give someone, this is the perfect thing to do it. So I'll you need to do is just open up the edge and you can drop your gift card right in and really just make someone smile. And since we had our paper out and the dies out and everything, Rebecca and I decided let's make a bunch of pillow boxes. So here we have some stripes and sprinkles paper for the yellow stripes. And then of course the brand new fruit salad paper and the watermelon. You can see that Rebecca always leaves a little bit of extra space there at the end because you don't need to worry about that part because it's gonna be adhered and tucked on the inside. And that way you don't have any excess paper kind of getting in the way of being able to fold this down. So we're gonna secure those folds with our bone folder. We're gonna add some quarter inch tape there to the outside. And then we're just gonna go ahead and close that down. And then all you need to do is just kind of pop your box open and then you can fold those flaps in on both sides. And of course we have our watermelon paper on this. So we're definitely gonna need to use a watermelon tag. So we're gonna take that lawn trimmings and wrap them around twice and tie a little bow. And then we're gonna take our thanks a melon watermelon tag and we're just gonna add that right there and we can tie another little knot. I mean, this is just the cutest thing ever. I love them so much. They're just the most adorable little pillow boxes. And of course we needed to make one more. So this time we're gonna show you how easy it can be to make one with even just one piece of pattern paper. So we're gonna use the fruit salad paper again, but this time we're gonna use the B side, which has this really fun gingham. We can add our double-sided tape to the tab and then we're gonna fold along those score lines and reinforce those. We'll peel up the liner paper and just press down flat. And then all we need to do is push in the edges to quickly make this adorable pillow box. Then just like we did before, we're gonna wrap some twine around and then we can go ahead and tie our little tag on. And this is the strawberry one that says, you are very special, which is so cute. 
We're gonna go tie a little bow and then we can trim off any of the excess. And now this cute little pillow box is done. And now we can see a comparison between all of them with the little fruit tiny tags. I mean, they're just so cute. Look at this, it's so much fun and they are so much fun to create. Now, in just a little bit, Shari is gonna show you how to incorporate these tags or really any tag on your card. And it's such a cute design. But first, we're gonna make a card with the Cheery Cherries. And instead of cutting them out of red cardstock, this time we're gonna do it out of some raspberry cardstock, which is kind of like a dark pink. So we're gonna cut the duo of cherries, and then we're gonna cut the stems in both cilantro and noble fir cardstock. And we're gonna be cutting this, the dual stem there that has the cute little leaves, and we're gonna cut those ones in both directions. Then we're gonna take the stems there, we're gonna add some tape runner to the back to help secure them. And then we can take those stems there and just tuck them right in to the little slots that are on top of the cherries. And it's just so quick and easy to do and I think it looks so great. It really looks like real cherries. Then we're gonna go ahead and take these little leaves here and we're gonna trim them off with our scissors because we're gonna be adding these leaves into the design. And I like having the two different shades of green. Next, we're gonna take out the largest of the small stitch rectangles and we're gonna be die cutting some white cardstock. And right now we are recreating a card by Elise. So thank you so much, Elise. This card is so super cute. So that now that we have our base there, we can bring back the cherries and the leaves that we were die cutting earlier. Then we're also going to take out Finley's ABCs, which is a really fun alphabet die set. And we're gonna be spelling out the word cherry for a super cute pun. And this time we're gonna die cut it out of some guava cardstock, which is a lighter pink. And I love the two shades of green and the two shades of pink. It's gonna look so nice together. So we'll add some foam squares to the back of the cherry and then add them onto the card. And I love the little pop. This is a clean and simple card. So having that little pop just gives it a nice dimension onto the card. Then we'll add the rest of the leaves to the cherries. So we're adding a second leaf there to the back at the top, which is really cute. And then the other two are kind of gonna be a base for the cherries. Next, we're gonna take our letters and lay them onto the card to see exactly where the placement is going to need to be for these. Then we can lift up the letters one by one, add liquid glue to the back, and then secure them onto the card. And I think it's really cute that we're gonna have the letters kind of up and down and not in a straight line. It makes it look really sweet. Then to finish up the sentiment, we're gonna take out the stamp set, thanks, thanks, thanks. I love this set because it has a lot of nice general sayings on it, and we're gonna be using the thanks so much, but we're gonna change it to thanks so cherry much. So I love these general sets for this. Happy, happy, happy is another good one where you can kind of mix and match the sentiments together. So we're gonna stamp the thanks so first in some black licorice ink, and then we can stamp the much underneath the word cherry. And now we've created a cute custom sentiment by replacing one of the words with die cut letters and adding a cute little pun. These are our hearts dies, and I love these dies because they have a lot of hearts in different sizes. We're gonna die cut that out of ballet slippers cardstock, and then we'll add some foam squares to the back of these, and then layer them onto the card. And adding the hearts, I think, just makes it feel so special. It's just so cute and sweet. I love this design so much, Elise. Then next, we're gonna take our outside in stitch scallop rectangles and we're gonna be die cutting some more of that fruit salad paper. I just love this red gingham so much. I think I'm gonna use it on just about every card. <laughs> so we're gonna die cut that and now we're gonna have this cute little stitch scallop that we can put behind our adorable cherry sentiment. So now we're gonna layer that there and I love the look of that double stitching, it's so pretty. Then we'll take a standard size card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. We'll add some tape runner to the back of that and then we can layer that right on there. And I love that little white border around the scallops. I think it really makes it pop. And this is a nice clean and simple card that's super easy to create, but it is so super cute. Oh, I love it so much. And next up, Shari is gonna show us how to incorporate the tags onto a card. It's so cool. So take it away, Shari. I am taking the new fruit tiny tags and creating some cards today. I'm using Henry's ABCs to cut out part of my sentiment and I've already prepped my die cut pieces in these two little trays here. I'm making a lemon card and a watermelon card. For the lemon, I die cut the body of the lemon from some yellow textured canvas cardstock. And then the leaf is cut from some cilantro cardstock that I'm just layering over the top. I am going to add some inking to this. So I've pulled out my sunflower ink and a little finger dauber brush here. And I'm just adding some darker shade 
kind of to the right side in the bottom to give it a little bit of depth. Now I can assemble my watermelon slice. I have this black piece that's going to layer behind the seeds. So I have black seeds when I flip this over. Then I have my two green pieces. The thicker of the two is cut from the light green. This is going to end up being the inside rind of the watermelon. And then the darker one will layer on the outside edge and become the outside rind. Both of the greens come from the textured canvas cardstock pack in green. Next, I have the new Fruit Salad Petite Paper Pack. I really love the plaids in this collection, and I'm going to pull out two of these. The orange one I'm cutting to two inches wide, and then the blue one I will cut to one and three quarters inch wide. I'm starting out with my blue piece here. I'm just adding adhesive all over the back, and then I'm layering this right along the bottom of a white card base. Then I can just pick this up and trim off that excess piece that is sticking out on the side. And then I'm going to repeat the same process on a portrait oriented card, putting that orange piece along the bottom of this one. This is going to have a little bit more to trim off. I'm actually going to trim off both sides. I'm just going to line it up to where two of the dark stripes are going to end up on the edge of the card just makes it look a little bit more even in my opinion to make sure the stripes on each side match. Now I'll just trim off that excess and now I have two card bases with that really fun plaid along the bottom. So I've cut the word zest with the Henry's ABC's dies. This is cut from some peacock cardstock and I'm just using my ruler to make sure the letters are nice and straight. Then I'm going to pick them up with a piece of removable scotch tape. So this tape is not too sticky, easy to remove, but because it is clear, I can see my letters through it, which is kind of nice when lining them up. I'm adding some dots of glue to the back of the letters. My lemon is just here for placement at the moment. And then I can put these letters down, press them down a little bit, and then carefully remove that tape. And I like the letters kind of hanging over onto the plaid a little bit and then the upper part being on the white. Now I've pulled out Harold's ABCs and put stamps on my block to spell out the words you're the. And I'm going to be stamping these in some peacock ink right above the word zest. Now for my tag, I did kind of want to make it still look like a tag. So I have a piece of natural twine here. I'm just going to thread the loop through the hole and then back through the loop. So just like a tag you would put on a gift or anything like that. So I have that loop at the top of my lemon. I've already put my foam squares all over the back. I'm gonna make sure this is lined up with my grid mat and put my lemon down here by the word zest. Make sure it's nice and stuck down and then pull my twine straight up towards the top. I'm adding a small dot of glue that's going to be right behind that twine, pulling it over and I'll hold it in place with my tweezers while the glue dries. I'm also making a little bow out of that same twine and I'll just add that with a little dot of glue right to where the twine connects to the tag. I just think this is a really fun added embellishment. Then I can just trim off the extra long tails. Now I'm just repeating the same process with my letters for my second card. These spell out the word melon. They're cut from some guava cardstock and I'm just lining them up with the lines on my grid mat. I'm going to bump my ruler up against the bottom and make sure they're nice and straight. And then, of course, pick them up with that removable scotch tape. Then I can set them on here and get my spacing, make sure everything looks good with my watermelon slice. And then for this one, I'm spelling out the words, your one in a. So it says, your one in a melon. 
I'll go ahead and put some glue on the back of those letters. And again, on this one, I'm having the bottom half of the letter overlap the plaid and the top half of the letter on the white. And then I'm stamping that sentiment in guava ink so it matches my die cut letters. And then I'll pull off that tape for the word melon. Now to attach my watermelon slice, I am going to do the same thing that I did with the lemon. The watermelon slice already has some foam squares on the back of it. I'm taking my natural twine, I'm going to thread it through the hole and then back through itself, through the loop. So I have that same look of a tag. And I'll repeat the same process of gluing the string up to the top of the card. So I've pulled all the liner paper off my foam tabs. I'm gonna stick that down, make sure it's nice and straight, and then pull that twine towards the top. Again, holding it in place with my tweezers till it dries. Now my lemon one is already dried, so I'll trim that twine off here in just a moment. making my little bow to add to my watermelon tag. And it just takes a little dot of glue. This glue dries nice and strong and clear so you won't see it once it's dry. So here is my lemon card and that glue at the top is dry and I'm just going to trim off that excess that comes off the top of the card. And I did the same for the watermelon card once it was dry as well. And now I can add a little bit of embellishment. These are some green gems that I had in my stash and I've just sprinkled them around. And I think that this is a really fun way to pull in the little touches of green that are in each of those tags. And then finally, I want to add some shimmer to these simple cards. So I've added some stickles to the top right side of the lemon and then I'm tracing along the dark green of that watermelon rind. And then here's a look at my finished cards. I think that these make some really great quick cards. This would also make a great set using all the fruits in that tiny tag set as well. And I really think it goes great with that fruit salad plaid paper. I'm creating a bowl of cherries on my card today with the Cheery Cherries dies. There's a die that cuts a pair of cherries like this, and then the other die cuts two individual cherries. I've also cut out my stems. They have ones in different directions with leaves or without leaves. And I've used the textured canvas cardstock in pinks, that dark pink there, for some of my cherries as well as the textured canvas cardstock in the red and orange. So I've used one of the reds in this pack for my cherries. I've also cut out the fruit basket from some mermaid cardstock and then also the scripty suite that you can see there that will be part of my sentiment from one of the pinks in the textured canvas set. For my background I'm using the 12 by 12 fruit salad paper. This is the squeeze the day paper which is the yellow one with lemons. I've cut out that plaid with the largest of the outside in stitch rectangles and this will be the background for my cherries. And then I'm just going through with some sunflower ink and inking up the edges to darken them up. You can see that that stitching detail kind of stands out a little bit more when you do this and it also creates kind of a focal point in the center of this gingham panel. So once I have this panel looking the way I like, I'm going to move on to adding my cherries to the bowl. I'm starting out with this pair first off with the cilantro stems. And I'm just adding those with a little dot of glue at the top and then I just kind of push the end of the stem into the little slit that the die creates at the top of the cherry. I also added some gel pen shine marks to these so they look like shiny cherries. And these are going to go right into the bottom of my basket. So you can see I just tucked them in there and then added a few dots of glue to hold them in place. Now for these cherries, I could have cut them as the pear, but since I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, I had just cut a whole bunch of cherries. These are both the pink color, and I'm basically making a pair of cherries. This way, if you do it this way, you can also kind of 
change the angle of the cherries so they don't all look like exact copies of each other. So you have lots of options to get the look that you want. I also thought it was fun to vary the colors of the stems as well as the cherries to add more depth to this die cut bowl of cherries. Now I'm adding some shine marks to this individual cherry and this will be the last one that I add to my basket. So for this one I'll just add a single stem to it and I decided to go with that darker color. I kind of used all the dark color stems for the cherries in the back and the light color stem for the cherries in the front. And this will fill up the basket very nicely in this last little corner. I'm just tacking that down with a little bit of liquid glue. Now my bowl of cherries is all complete. I'm also going to use some of those extra cherries I have there and set one of these on the outside of the basket. And you'll also see later that I take one of them and put it on the inside of the card, which I think is just a fun way to use up that extra die cut and make those cherries kind of flow into the inside of the card. So I'll just add liquid glue all over the back of this as well as the leaves and the backs of the stems. And then I'll just place this towards the bottom of that gingham panel that I made. And I will place an acrylic block on top of it to let that glue dry nice and flat. And I thought it would be fun to add a little foam square underneath this leaf that's in the front to give it a little bit of dimension. And then for this cherry, I am going to add that with some foam squares as well. Next, I will move on to the sentiment for this card, and I have that big scripty suite. I've pulled out the very special stamp set because there is a stamp in it that says, Have a Happy Birthday. There are other stamp sets that probably have this sentiment as well, but I liked the size of the font for this one. I'm gluing that scripty suite directly to the background. And then I'm going to do some selective stamping for the rest of the sentiment. So I've lined this up so that the word birthday is where I want it to fall. I've masked off the rest of the stamp with a post-it note and I'm just inking up the word birthday and then I can stamp that down below the word sweet. Then I'll clean off my stamp and place it where the have a is where I want it to be. Again, pick that up with my Misty. I'll use that same post-it to mask off the rest of the stamp, just inking up the words have a, and stamp that down. So now it says have a sweet birthday. And I just think that that sentiment goes perfect with the cherries. I'm adding my little shine marks to that cherry on the front, which I had forgotten previously, but that makes it match the rest of the cherries. And then now I have a piece of guava card stock that I'm just gluing to the front of a card base. You could also make a card base out of guava card stock. Then I've added foam tape all over the back of my die cut rectangle with all of my cherries on it and I'm just popping that onto the card base so I get that nice guava frame around it. Now here is one of my extra cherries and I thought it would be fun to add that to the inside of the card so you have a nice little cherry surprise inside. And then finally I wanted to add some embellishments. So to kind of fill in a little bit more I decided to add some hearts that I already had die cut. These are cut from some guava card stock. I've just sprinkled those around kind of filling in a little bit more and I really love that one just on that cherry that's on the outside of the basket. Then I'm adding some stickles to each of those so that they sparkle and we have some shine. I'll add some to the heart that's on the cherry as well. And then for the sentiment, I'm only adding it to the bottom of the letters, almost like we took the word sweet and dipped it in some sugar. And I just think that's a really fun look. So here is my finished card with that fruit basket full of really fun cherries. I think this would be fun to make a whole background of cherries as well. And I just love it on that new fruit salad paper. I am just in love with this bowl of cherries. I love them so much in the fruit basket. I think it's so sweet, Shari. And then your cards where you put the tags onto them. I think this is so much fun. And I love the adorable little puns. And of course, that awesome fruit salad paper on there. Next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, this card by Audrey is too cute. And I love her custom sentiments so much. 
Here, I love how Yainea also incorporated her tag onto her card, and I love how she mixed and matched her pattern papers and a magic message on there too. Elena created a whole background of cherries, and this is so cool, I can't wait to try it myself. And here I love the idea of putting the cherries into our Build-A-Barrel and I love how she made almost like a little picnic basket with that new fruit salad paper. Here Kara added her tag onto her card and I love how she used the watermelon tag with the watermelon paper. And then here is the card by Elise that inspired us to make ours. It is so super cute. I love it so much. And then next up, Grace made a whole box of cards that is so cute. She created her own custom little box. And then what she did was she combined the cute tiny tags onto some mason jars. So she die cut the mason jar and then she die cut it again with a scallop circle to have it have the look of the fabric over the jar. And I think this is the sweetest thing ever and I can't wait to make cards just like those. This card by Callie is so cute. I love how she incorporated the tag by cutting the tag part off and now she has a cute watermelon for her cards. Callie also created the coolest background with those cherries. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? And then she layered her sentiment over top. I love the black and red. This little box by Lynette is so sweet. I love that the scallop treat box is a perfect match for the new fruit salad papers. And then this card by Leticia is so fun. I love that she cut the cherries out of pattern paper. I wouldn't have thought to do that and it looks so cute. These little tags by Megan are just adorable. I love the shading and all the detail that she added to the fruits. And then here, oh my gosh, Kara's coloring. I am just blown away and I love that she colored the letters in the same way. So gorgeous. And then here, this card by Tammy is so sweet. I love by adding a little inking to the cherries. It makes them look three-dimensional and so cool. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with all these new fruit-themed products, so make sure to share them with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!